This morning we stopped a vehicle that was loaded with methamphetamines and fentanyl. Give a fentanyl. When you stop that drug on the highway and it does not get into the community and it don't get into a family member or a sibling or anybody's hands, it's a success. Originally we were seeing fentanyl flown in from China. That's where a lot of the component chemicals are manufactured. But more recently, the fentanyl components are being sent to Mexico where they're being manufactured there and driven across the border through border checkpoints. And those drugs are coming all across this country, including here to North Carolina. And it, 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 they are absolutely devastating people's lives. We have to approach the supply, but we also have to approach demand, and that's drug addiction. And so I've been holding the drug companies accountable that created this crisis in the first place. How did they do this? Like, you know, how are they to blame? There were three waves of, of this opioid epidemic. The first wave from 2000, 2010, or 12 had to do with prescription pills. And the drug companies were aggressively promoting these pills to prescribers asserting that they were effective at treating pain and they were not addictive. And it turns out that neither of those things are true. And so millions of Americans got hooked on these pills while these companies were making billions and billions of dollars. When the pills became less available, folks started transitioning to using heroin, buying it on the street because heroin was cheaper than the prescription pills. And now this third wave has to do with fentanyl, which is even cheaper than heroin. And that's what's killing people because it's incredibly potent. We are making them pay over $50 billion. North Carolina share is gonna be about $1.4 billion. It has to go to prevention, harm reduction, treatment or recovery services. Harm reduction is a safe space for people to come and get clean, sterile supplies, Narcan, fentanyl test strips, basically anything a drug user needs to stay safe. Be safe. Erica Minton, I am the harm reductionist here um, for Wilkes Recovery Revolution. Simon Recovery.